Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Manoj Web, where my goal is to make your front-end life easier. In today's video, we're going to be adding some JavaScript to our Socializer website, finally. So first, we're going to be adding some CSS variables, which I'll be time-lapsing through. So I'll quickly add all the CSS variables and explain them. And then we'll finally be adding JavaScript. So remember how we created a template last time in part three, where we created a template for the video? This time, we'll be implementing that template in JavaScript. And the next time onwards, we'll be creating a JSON format for all the videos. So it's much easier to add videos onto the, onto the HTML. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's get started by first, we're gonna add CSS variables. So I'll just time-lapse through this. I'll find everything everywhere where I need variables and I'll just put them in the root over here. So this will just be a time-lapse. So we've got all the variables here and I've closed all of these. So let me open these up and then we'll talk about the variables. So for the variables, I have the body column for the grid columns. I have gotten changed this to body calls, the header columns, the logo image size, the na navigation font size, the navigation transition color. So this color right here, over here. The main padding, the main rows for the grid, the top section, width, the total width, the columns, the width for the search bar, the height for it, the padding and the profile width, video gap and video width. <clears throat> As of right now, I think these are the ones we would need to make it more responsive, which we will, be, we will do in a later video. For now, we've gotten all the CSS variables and now we can move on to the JavaScript. This was just to prepare us for later videos right now. So for the JavaScript, let me add the script tag over here first. So script src script.js. So it'll just connect to the script.js. And the script.js will have a function which creates a video. Function create video and it will take in so for that we're going to need access to the body because we'll be adding the videos to the body and I think that's really the only thing we need outside of the function and we can have a function to create the video so let me put this uh, index.html on the side so we can see how this uh, see the structure of the video itself because we're going to need that to create the video so first we have a div of a video holder with video data and then video stats. Okay. So first thing we have video holder const video holder equals document dot query select not document dot query so dot create element div and you know what instead of create I'll do that in a later video for now I'll leave it to this so I'll create a div element I'll do video holder dot class list dot add the class of video holder right so we've got in the video holder and now we'll create a video data and video stats and within it video data equals document dot create element you know what, instead of doing create element and adding the classes every single time, we're going to create a function which can allow us to like create the element and add a class within it at the same time. So we'll create a function, create element, right? We'll type, uh, we'll need the element type element 
and then we'll take the classes it'll take and yeah so it'll take the element and the classes it will take so we will have a const element new l equals document dot create element element right and then for the classes we'll have it be a list the classes will be a list and we'll go for let i equals zero while i is less than classes dot length i plus plus we'll do new l dot class list dot add i think there's a dot extend method as well which you could do but i'll do dot uh, do a for loop for now i'll do new l dot classes dot add classes at index i and then we'll return the new element right so if i do that and i instead of doing document dot create element i'll do create element of type div with the following classes video holder we'll have a const videos data equals create element of type div with the following classes video data we'll have a const video stats equals create yeah this is a lot better if this works so test that video stats so this will create the video data and video stats and we can do video holder dot append video data and video holder dot append video stats we'll create the rest of the elements in between as well and what we will do is body dot append video well not body actually because it needs to be appended to the videos class so instead of selecting body i'll keep the body i'll add another one videos equals document dot query selector dot videos and over here i'll go videos dot append video holder so that should work now in the video data i'll just add a video like this just to make just to see if it works or not so we can have an idea of what it looks like if it if this function actually works so first let's create the video so in the video data we'll have a const video uh what how should i name this i guess uh placed video i don't know what to name it because i already have videos i don't think video huh? it's video so i guess i'll just do video equals create element of type video with the following classes class equals video so how would i give it controls and loops hmm that's weird or or you know what i can do i can do this video data dot inner html equals this we'll have a video with a class equals video controls loop it'll have a it'll have a source within it src equals and we can change this later for now i'll just keep it testing with dot mp4 and end it off with a video tag so we'll make that the inner html now let's see how that works so i save that and not what is that okay i'll just do create video all right so let me just do this save so if i do that we have another video that works but there's okay the gap between them is really short let's add a bigger gap so video gap let's make that like 2m i don't think that changed oh wait maybe it's this gap it's not the gap between the videos so that's a problem dot videos gap 20 pixels i don't know 2m maybe I need, i'll give it a display of flex uh display flex 
flex direction column and then justify content center align items center yeah there's a gap between them now I'd say that's fine I need, still need to figure out this problem which we'll probably do some other time but we got that working so now we will just add the rest of the stats so basically what we can do hmm because we don't have a JSON file yet but we'll be adding that next time with a JSON file which will hold the number of likes the number of shares and the number of comments for now I'll just make the inner HTML the same as this because we don't have access to the rest of the stuff yet so for now I'll just do video stats dot inner HTML equals this this and that should be fine so if I save this and create video let me create like two videos right save refresh yeah we got three videos they're all loaded but uh, there's a big gap here that's probably because of the styles I just added I'll just get rid of the justified content and line items control R no that did not do it let me give this a border two pixels solid red okay so there's a big problem around there so there's a big gap between them so well, we can fix that next time along with this problem so next time it will probably be a problem fixing instead of the JSON one because it seems we have quite a few problems so fix those problems next time and then we'll work up, work with the JSON file but we've got the template working with J JavaScript and we've added our CSS variables I think we can call it done for today if you guys have any questions you can put them in the comment any suggestions please put them in the comments I would high, I would greatly appreciate them I hope you enjoyed make sure to like subscribe and share and see you next time